Hi, welcome back to How to Fail. We're in the last part of Suggy's Realm. Why aren't we doing Rescue Reservoir? Well, we did that, but we weren't recording. Well, we were recording, but we ran out of space because I was an idiot and forgot to change the hard drive. I met. Oh. Alright. So, I think we need to acknowledge a terrible mistake that has been made here. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Somebody, not naming any names, has clicked the like button on two of our snake cast episodes. Now, this in itself doesn't sound like a bad thing. Unfortunately, this means that now we have to keep making the show. I hope you're happy. You know, ratio was, I'm very happy that one out of three people like the thing that we made. Also, we had three people who saw our thing we made. I'm extremely happy about this as well. Speaking of results, talk about a fucking Segway. Do you want to talk about Segway? I don't want to talk about Legway. This is your plan since university to replace your legs with a Segway. Mm hmm. Like that dude from the Doom film. Dude got turned into a monster, still had his legs. The uh, wheels. I don't think he had any. I'm gonna miss this place. So fucking chill. Anyway, the segue I was actually referring to was we had a general election. It's kind of uh, like a regular. It's kind of like a major election. What general? But it's been promoted. Congratulations on having a hung parliament. Maybe next time you'll think about that before you try and hold an election when you said that you wouldn't. I actually had like a friend on Facebook who was like, "We have a hung parliament now." I hope that you're happy, Labour voters. You don't get to pull that shit when she's the one who called for the bloody thing. <laughs> this was her doing. You reap what she sowed, and what she sowed was wheat. Uh, and now uh, she wants to run for that field of wheat. I'm not. Sure, where did that come from? I don't know. Was it from that idiot who was Jeremy Corbyn's like second in command until she had? Quote unquote health and health problems. She left because she was a fucking idiot. We all know it. You're not fooling anybody. If only Donald Trump would try that. He has that also. Like, say he's having health problems and can't be president right now. Things aren't going well for Donny. Um, the FBI guy is testifying that he was a shitty president. Also, he might be Vladimir Putin's bitch. <clears throat> we didn't hear that from us. Nope, because I have a donut. You have a donut. I do. I have this energy which I'm eating. Personally, I'm enjoying Donald Trump's time in office. It's like Bush 2.0. Yeah, I haven't had this much fun since the Bush administration. People say, like, he's a horrible president. It was fucking hilarious. The question that's never asked is our children learning? <laughs> classic. Classic. That was like the golden age of stand up comedy back then. That was when Michael Jackson went fucking nuts. <laughs> and George Bush was in office. And two things died around the same time. The Bush administration and Michael Jackson. That was like one of the big comedic fallbacks. It was around that time period. There was a Jackson joke. And there was a Bush joke. I just said Robin Williams wasn't alive to have Donald Trump as president. Stephen Colbert is just getting so much material out of everything he does and says. Alright, do you want to take over so I can have a bite of my sandwich? I'm okay, no. Uh. Uh. Do not fuck up. I'm, I'm afraid not. No? Well then. I was just reached out his hand. Also, I'm very tired right now. So, enough. That's why you get it. Enough about politics. Uh, I want to talk about the Righteous Muffin site. I hear that was lame. Discuss. I can neither confirm nor deny that Righteous Muffin is lame. 
That's my battle cry. We fall behind on everything. Ah! We fall behind on the carrot strips, on the reviews, and on the let's plays of gross. And there is a very good reason for that. You know what's out at the end of the month? What? Our new album. We'll make albums. Yeah, we do. We got a new one coming up. What was our first album? It's this one. <sighs> Uh, the name of it, it's this one. Yep. The way it's like, first my sour is just <coughs> take over again. <coughs> anyway, so the reason why there have been delays. I make a comics book called Rain Legacy. You do? And I've been having trouble making it. Oh. And all of that is because it used to be weekly. So I went to a monthly model. And that has led to a soft reboot of the series. Now, here's why. Why? Redoing it would mean the difference between well, taking like one year or two years to finish the current story arc. Because back when I was originally doing it, it was like 20 minutes, uh, 20 page chapters every week. Or bi weekly, as it turned out. Um, but now that it's monthly, I need to be a bit more conservative with how I write it. So a lot of it comes down to the writing side of things. I wanted to make sure it's right. But I'm keeping the first chapter, which is a first for me because I have restarted this thing so many fucking times. This is never right. But I'm actually keeping most of the first chapter, except for a little bit. I'm changing the end of it. There we go. Essentially, it comes down to, like, character development stuff. Like, developments that would have happened later now happening in earlier chapters. Which should help give the story a bit more of a better flow. As well as, like, have uh, There's a bit of a under There's something under there. Go back up. Go back up. I'm talking about flow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you're a sneaky boy. I nearly crushed the snake's head. <laughs> so, the idea is to have a better story flow, and, as well as a feeling of a faster pace. There we go. I'm being mauled. Uh... You have a tiny dog in your head. So that's been it taking up my time, like, sorting that shit out. And... When this goes up, because I have some time off work, I'm going to get everything into shape. So I can start making new things to take up my no, time. No, puppy, you cannot stand on that. Speaking of things that take up my time, we're currently working on something called Metal Gear 2D Bridged. If you'd like to be a part of it, we have a casting call. Boom, link's in the description. Elfie cannot be in it because she is a tiny dog. Also, she is on my shoulder right now. So, we've talked about our incompetence, my incompetence. We've talked about general elections. we talked about Donald Trump. What else is there to talk about? Nothing. Uh, I thought of something we can talk about. The thing you missing? Tekken! What's making that noise? I don't know. So... Uh, I finished the story mode of the new Tekken game. Wow. And something I never realized until very recently, that game is actually the 20th anniversary of Tekken. Mm-hmm. It probably sounds kind of weird since it's 2017 and the first Tekken came out in 1994. What? Yeah. But... Uh, the arcade version oh. came out uh, in 2015 of Tekken 7. And it kind of occurs to me because, like, the, the story mode um, essentially finishes off the story that began with the original Tekken. For those of you who don't know the story of Tekken, there's two dudes. There's Hihachi and his son, Kazuya. And they had the best relationship. They're such a loving family. 
By a loving relationship, he threw him off a cliff. Parenting. Yes. And the he was the hero of the first second game. And he was like trying to take down his evil father. Then the second game, he turned into the bad guy. And then he had a son as well, called Jin. And then he was trying to take down Hiachi. Then he turned into a bad guy. The Mashima family's fucked up. But this game uh, focused on not only the origins of this whole blood feud, but also finishing it. And without giving anything away, the battle that started with Tekka 1 has ended. And I gotta say, it was actually kind of emotional because uh, Tekken 2 was one of the first games I ever played. Mm -hmm. It was on the same disc as Crash Bandicoot, which is the first game I ever played. The second game was Tekken 2. So I think it's safe to say that Tekken has like a very strong uh, place in my nostalgia. There you go. I feel like everybody who had a PlayStation played Tekken, right? Yes. That was kind of the game of the PlayStation era. Fighting game wise, anyway. It was like other franchises, but Tekken was like the big one. And the other one that I played at least was Mortal Kombat 3. Here we go. Which, I've been thinking, we should totally have a How to Fail where we try a bit more taro. Oh god, please. I think yay. it's time we finally That'll do be it. The best thing ever. We have never no. beaten him! We have never beaten him. Let's, let's Irish Mike way. says it's easy, fuck him. Let's keep it that way. We've been trying for years! You've been trying for years. You've been trying for years. I have friends from high school who have also been trying for years with us. We have never beaten this prick. He's not even the final boss, he's the boss before the final boss. You hate him. But Irish Mike says it's easy. Irish Mike is a poopy head. And it all comes from one thing. Not only is the boss fucking cheap, but you have a limited number of continues. So if you die too many times, start over from the beginning. So you can never, like, get used to him before you have to start over again. Get good. It also doesn't help that my main character, Sub-Zero's ice attacks don't work. Don't play him. It'd be so much easier if Scorpion was in that game. Teleport him. Yeah, well. I don't know, it like, I feel like such a fucking idiot as well, because like, all these years that we've never beaten him. Like, everybody I know who has played Tekken 3 growing up except Irish Mike, once again, fuck him. M wonderful guy, beautiful guy, uh, one of our best friends. <laughs> it's Irish, you can talk about fuck him. Um, uh, none of us have beaten him. Like, anybody else have this? Anybody else have this problem where nobody can beat Mataro? Are we just that stupid? Don't answer that question, but also answer that question in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe, are we that stupid? The answer may just surprise you. Speaking of stupid, where the fuck are these coins? Hey, Ma. I have a donut. I haven't eaten it yet. What? You got posted a freezer on your wall. Yeah, you came... got a head and you got a left arm and a right arm. Yes. If you get the left leg and the right leg, will you will you, will you win the Dragon Ball? Oh my god, that is a hilarious fact based on visual stimuli, which nobody can see because it's a fucking audio show. But yes, if I get the uh, left and right leg of freezer, then I win the Dragon Ball. I actually got those. The other picture freezes up have like anyway. Yeah, I got those with um, Resurrection of F, uh, Blu-ray. Yeah, we go. So, here's my question. Dragon Ball Super. Is it worth seeing the first few episodes if they just redid the movies? No. 
Cool. Next question. <laughs> I haven't actually got around to watching Super yet. But I've been hearing all about the things going on. What have you heard? Is the girl Super Saiyan now also this girl Broly? Yeah. About fucking time. I can't wait for these women to be swept under the rug and to become housewives like everyone else. Huh. Yeah, we'll go. You gonna go up there? Oh, jeez. Alright, it's fine. This is not fine. This is fine. Look at this. Not fine this at is, all. This is the definition of fine. No. Look at this. I'm so fine right now. They call me Fine McFine Fine Frame. Fine Frame. Fine Frying Pan. <laughs> That's what they call me. I don't know why. Yeah. Wrap, wrap around it. I'm sleepy. To the coin. I'm sleepy. To the coin. Because I have been starting a new job. Yeah. What's your new job? Uh, I work nights in the kitchen. Now you understand my thing. It's not pain, idiot. I love it. Do you know why? Because I'm not fucking serving any customers. Imagine that, but you are serving customers. Yeah, I would hate it. The best. But I'm not, so I don't. I'm loving it. Yeah. Also, I joined the gym. You joined gym? I did. I joined the gym, I just keep forgetting to go. Mainly because so the corner behind I'm you, been, um, like in work at like ten o'clock till six. I'm trying to think how to get to it from the ledge, that's going up and down. Out of this ledge, which is staying where it is. Mm, that ledge is fucking. I like this ledge. All right, I'm gonna jump across and grab a hold of that thing. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Um. Wrap around, wrap around, wrap around. I'm not climbing. Why aren't I climbing? Well. This is what they mean by one step forward, two steps back. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a platform going up and down. Fancy that. It doesn't work. It didn't work. I need to eat my donut. So I had a... I was in work till 7 o'clock. But I have a fucking headache, so I didn't go to sleep. I had 20 minutes sleep today. Ugh. So I'm feeling a little bit goofy, a little bit silly. I could die on my way home. You won't die. I'm driving. <laughs> With no sleep. Uh, 20 minutes sleep, thank you very much. So yeah, that has been... Yeah. My evenings for the past two weeks while this dude's on holiday. Ah. Me Me in a kitchen, alone for eight hours straight, just listening to old Cinema Snob episodes. Because everyone else has put their fucking episodes on YouTube. We're, and everything is restricted by YouTube's restricted mode. By the way, I have a bone to pick with the fucking restricted mode on YouTube. Why is everything restricted? And I don't just mean some things are restricted, like fucking everything. Like... Why the fuck is Pro Jared's episodes restricted? He doesn't swear. It's a review. Also, the... Fucking that music cover artist that I listen to, like Pele, K, and Amelie. These people have stupid names. They make awesome music, though. Check them out on YouTube. Why is their shit blocked? We don't want the children to be corrupted by this American woman dubbing the fucking Sword Art Online openings into English. It might corrupt them. When watching this show won't. Yeah. We won't corrupt you, but it was probably restricted as well. Everything is restricted, except for Simon's cat. I guess they have some limits. They draw the line at an animated cat. 
For now. For now. His time will come. There's a bunch of Jontron episodes, but they've gone into restricted mode as well. Just had to watch the Yoda stories and the Bubsy collection episodes on an endless loop. I like the Japanese shooter one. That is one of my favorites. I showed it to me nephew. I have been looking for Parodius forever. Ugh. That's one of the games I really want to play. Parodius. Send us Parodius, please. What's called Parodius? Parodius is a flying game where you're a penguin and you're shooting at a bunny lady. Fucking weird, and I used to rent it all the time. What about the other one with the weird men? Oh, that thing. Let's never speak of that again. Yeah, send a shooter game where you have muscular men. What's that game called again? Is it No Winichi? Not like that. Or is that another thing? Hmm. Send us Parodius, please. We won't pay you. Send help. Just as a gift, as an offering. Send help. Can't send help, but fine. Where is this fucking coin? How many more do we need? Uh, one more coin. It always comes down to one coin and like a couple of energy. How many energy do we need? Uh, one. It's one of everything. I guess they'll be next to each other? They usually are. It always comes down to this. Every single f fucking time, one piece of energy, one coin, then we end the episode. It was like, oh, we'll just fast forward to the end. We did it. Off screen. Where is? Did you go down there? I've been down there, yes. Are you sure? I don't think I've been up here. Also, I saw Wonder Woman. And? It felt like an apology. <laughs> you know how people complain that Batman vs Superman was mostly trying to set up the future films? Mm -hmm. And coming across as very convoluted? Mm -hmm. This film doesn't even have like a post credit sequence. What was the last superhero film that you saw without a post credit sequence? <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy had like five. There we go. But yeah, freaking awesome film. Is it wonderful? Uh, yes. I would describe it as that. I was originally very annoyed. Because. I thought it was a World War II film, mm -hmm. and I was worried that we weren't going to have footage of Wonder Woman punching Hitler in the face. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's a World War One film, so it's acceptable. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Because I've come to the conclusion, any World War II film that doesn't have bad things happening to Hitler's face is a terrible thing. Oh, you're gonna die. You're dead. Inglorious Bastards. Hitler gets shot in the face. Several times. Bad things happen to Hitler's face? Great film. Save him Private Ryan. What happens to Hitler's face? Nothing. Nothing. Terrible film. Hacks are rich. One of my favorite films of What's all time. Have you been in there? Nothing bad happens to Hitler's face. Are you being like properly? So it's a terrible film. Sorry? Are you being like area properly? Yeah. What was it looks like a coin. Oh, okay. Not this time, but the first time it's down there. Have you heard of a film called Hitler Dead Alive? Dead or Alive? Yeah. Yes, what is it about? I don't know. I've never seen it. Uh, it is about some gangsters who are. Uh, go to take a hit out on Hitler. And it involves uh, them shaving Hitler's moustache. And then he gets shot by his own Nazis because they don't recognize him. It's fucking awesome and bad things happen to Hitler's face. Great film. Dunkirk? What are the odds of bad things happening to Hitler's face? Nothing. 
So it's going to suck. Also, there's a girl in work who has seen that film just because it has Harry Styles in it. Yeah. Can you take over while I eat a donut, please? Alright, um... Alright, we have other things to do with our valuable time, so... We're gonna have to... No, no. What's this shit? Goza, the distractor, the traveler has come. We have a gift. Oh boy. The bird has taken it. What a slip. Where's this last piece of energy? Alright. Next time I come on this level, all the energy burn I've reset. Who's that? Uh, dream a dream. Uh, ah. Yay! Fantastic. Achievables. Cinder's Realm. Oh, it's no. gonna be a fire time flip, and flop, night. Flip, flop, do we? Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. I hope you will join us next time for more randomness. We'll have more things to discuss. Well, the smiley time will be had. Yes. And Gregory will be joining us. He was also pregnant. Gregory cannot be pregnant. He's not married. But he is in wedlocked. Wed luck didn't that uh so he's, he's got he's got a problem. He owes money money. Next episode. Alright, all the energy didn't reset. I'll get you next time, my pretty edge of little dogs. This is a little dog in the room.